if it, in my prediction, Igor gets snubbed for the Vesna, he's going to be a top three, you know, contender. Who would get a Vassy again? Hey, that, that's that. Not the point. I I think that it's just not going to go to him because why would it? You know, that's just not the way the NHL works. I feel like they're not going to, you know, want to. We we got to look up. But has who was the last back to back Vesna winner? That's a good question. Uh, three goalies have won the Vesna Trophy in back to back seasons since 1980. Who we who is the most recent, Steve? I want to say Brodeur. Brodeur. Patrick Waugh was 90, 89 and 90. Um, Dominic Hasek, 94, 95. He also did it at 97, 99. Lauren Brodeur. Bingo. Sorry. He had, Hasek had two back to backs. Yeah. And Brodeur. 0304 and 0708. You know, that was still so recently. And that then, is still recent. And uh, a couple little fun facts on top of it. Marm Brodeur is the only player to win the Vesna and the Stanley Cup in the same season. Hopefully, we can change that this year. And Brodeur won the Vesna uh, in four out of the five seasons between 03 and 08. That's pretty nuts. From 94 and 2001, Dominic Hasek won the Vesna in six of eight seasons. That's pretty wild. Hard trophy candidate on our team, I'd have to say the only one is Igor. If you're talking MVP of the Rangers, though, I feel like that's where we can get a little bit tricky, even though that's where I feel like that's such a weird distinction to make, you know, that the most valuable player in the league, the argument can be for Igor, but there is, I feel like, an argument somewhere in the in the team, in the locker room, for there to be a more valuable player to the Rangers, as weird as that is to say. So, I mean, like, you know, some breakout years that I'd be looking forward to maybe Jacob Truba. This would be one of those years to really step into that captain role, maybe with all of that kind of behind him. Um, and maybe just stepping into some more shots and just kind of taking that. Like I, game thought, he, back. I thought Truba shot a lot last year. They just weren't sinking. Like hockey guys got to be in Jacob Truba's favor this year and, you know, allow some of those ones to really sneak in there. Guys like Mika, man, you know, you watch the way he performed in the playoffs. He could be a real, especially maybe, you know, all this looming captain stuff with him and Kreider too. I mean, those guys really stepping up big for us. That's what I think makes our team so unique is that, like, you know, guys like Fox can still absorb that role of being, like, that premier player that we're still yet to see. I I think there's another gear left to Adam Fox's game for sure, you know. If you look at the way he just takes over a game and when you watch Fox. I'm sorry. Do you think Fox could ever win the heart? To be the most valuable player, I mean, okay, look, do they do they weigh into you know position into account? Because I, I think they do. I think they definitely do. Play you Fox. you look at the way that you know McCarr, for example, kind of takes over games. Um, and we've we watched Fox show glimpses of that ability to sort of captain, um, the team and the power play and you know the the pace of the game. So. I think when you talk about Adam Fox, you know, sky's the limit as far as potential, and there's still probably some unscratched surface, but will he be that MVP type player in, in the league? He's still so young still, but. I got a question for you, Steve. Do you think we will see more of a consistency from Mika Zibanejad this year? Because, you know, we always call him Mika March and stuff, and sometimes he starts off a little sluggish. Do you think the playoff push that we had last year is going to fire him up for the beginning of this year where – you know, maybe we don't see such a sluggish start from Mika. If you're talking, will we see the inconsistency? There will probably be pockets. But I just think that that's to the nature of his game because of when you get one, you're going to get multiple. He's one of those fantasy, sit, you know, sit uh, players where you, well, yeah, you when really can't. He, he has a lights out game. When you play him, he's like one point. Yeah, when, you know, he's one of those guys. But I think what I'm most looking forward to is who gets that, that top spot with him because I think that that – that line is going to have so much chemistry from the two of them that I think it's going to be tweaked all year long. 